Hi there. Uh, this is Raven Hawk from fastworkinglovespells.com. And I'm going to make a short video today about choices and making choices. And making too many wrong choices than making a decision to make a right choice. Um, oftentimes, and this is from my own personal experience, when we get ourselves grounded and rooted in a routine way of making bad choices, we tend to do it over and over and over, and we start to identify with the person being the person in the room that makes bad choices. This becomes our identity. And we start to see ourselves in a way that the mind would convince us that that makes us stand out from the rest of the people in the room. That's our specialness. Until we grow up and realize or being the person that's continually making bad choices is not getting us anywhere in life. Yeah, it's a nice talk in your head for the mind because the mind loves drama, continual drama. But in reality, our lives tend to suck in that direction. And that's when reality checks come. We have this tendency to make bad choices. We have this tendency to feel like we're stuck in a loop where we're doing things over and over and over and we can't stop. Now, what happens in this situation, it's not a loop, a physical loop, but what it is is a psychological loop, an emotional loop, a mental loop. It is a loop. You ever notice that sometimes people will say like they're acting, they're doing something, and it's almost like they're not even conscious of what they're doing, like they're doing it almost on autopilot. Now, this is the beauty part of energy. Because, see, this is, this is how you identify you can change your reality. See, they, they've built up this energy. And what it is, is the neurons in the brain, is this, this neuroplasty is accustomed see, to doing things a certain way, a certain way, a certain way. The, the mind doesn't have to pay the rent. It doesn't have to pay the bills. It doesn't care. It likes the drama. It also doesn't like changes. So it will continue to do the same thing. And it's looking for that which brings the highest amount of drama. Now, when things are going wrong in our lives, what happens? We have a heightened sense of negativity. We beat up on ourselves. We become aggressive and abrasive towards other people. But whatever form it takes, the drama is high octane very high octane and that is what the brain likes the mind i should say the conscious mind it loves that heavy drama and most people are we don't see that as negativity but it is a negative way of thinking because we don't have to be that way we don't have to be beating up on ourselves and we don't have to be aggressive towards other people or abrasive towards other people that's not the way it's supposed to be because that's not bringing ease to ourselves, our mind, our lives, nor is it bringing ease to the other person. It's bringing dis-ease to both parties. So what it is, is this, this doing the same thing over and telling ourselves this story. I personally used to tell myself that I was, pers I was God's the creator, personal pain test crash dummy or something like something along those lines but those words maybe not in those in that order but i felt like god had singled me out and was testing me to see how much pain a human being can take i really did believe this in my mind oh i felt that made me special after all my mind loves the drama and i am a very strong empath and I feel emotions extremely deeply. 
I used to feel people's emotions even in school. I used to be standing around and doubled over in, in emotional distress, and I had no idea what it was. But as, now I know what it is. I didn't know what it was back then. I couldn't identify it. There was no one around to tell me. My grandfather, or great-grandfather, was a witch doctor, but he didn't see it the way I do. He saw it old school. Um, he was more practical magic, not, you know, how the brain works and trying to make things better. He was just about spell casting spells and getting stuff done. Um, what it is, is when we do this, 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 with this, the, the same things, the same set of steps over and over and over, make the same mistakes, the mind starts to, it starts to feel so normal to us, almost like the back of our hands. And we tend to do it over and over. But what we do at some point is the energy starts to become so acclimated. We, we, we develop like this, like go like this. And then you start to go like that and you can feel that energy. You can feel it. You can feel the energy. That's what I mean. Because we've built up now an energetic pattern, a real life pulsating magnetic field, an energetic pattern of this repeatedly doing the same thing, even though it's causing us dis-ease. And some people identify with that, and some people just want to move past it. They just want to move forward. So this is where you make choices, and this is where it, it becomes hard. I made a video yesterday talking about that ceiling. So this is kind of a, um, it's, it's just similar, like a sub video from that it's like basically saying we become conscious that we're doing this and we want changes now well i didn't want to be god's personal pain test crash dummy anymore i didn't want to be the girl or the woman in the room whom nothing seemed to ever work for because my finances were shot my life was shot I was unhappy, I was depressed. It wasn't working for me. I had to make changes. I mean, I could enjoy the 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 title I gave myself, but it wasn't doing me any favors in real life in real in real life where it matters because they, we're here for a real life experience. So I had to make some choices. And I had to shift some things. And it's it's it's, I sympathize and I empathize with those of you out there who is going through this because I know how hard it is. You can almost feel how thick the energy becomes so thick. You, you almost feel like you, you have to push through it physically. It almost can feel it surrounding you. A thick, heavy magnetic energy. And that is the magnetic field. It's almost you have to push yourself through it. Another way of identifying it is if you think of doing something like, uh, uh, um, if you think of doing something different, like say that you're, you're unemployed for six months and you think of going out and getting a job, instantly you're going to feel a clutching somewhere in your body, most likely the heart chakra or, the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or in the tummy or in the root chakra. Some people feel it in their head. Some people feel it in the shoulder. It doesn't matter. In the throat. That's breaking the pattern here no 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 that part of your mind will go into overdrive no we don't need this no we don't need this you can't pay the rent and you're about to get evicted but you know you don't need it according to that part of your mind so this is where this is where this this magnetic this field this magnetic field we develop this and this making choices now, it becomes uh, hard now because you have to break that pattern. You have to break through that magnetic energy that you created unknowingly, unwittingly. You created it. It does exist and you created it. And this is where a spell can help with this because this is self-improvement. And a uh, thing to note when you do spells for self-improvement, like uh, for, for like emotional healing, um, mental healing. Again, these are not substitutes for medical advice. Never, ever. This is not a substitute for medical advice or medical medication. This is a backup plan. This is to emotionally get you to that space. 
at no time at all listen to what I say and take it as the uh, as medical advice. That's my disclaimer. This is not medical advice. This is not psychological advice either. This is a psychic advice. This is a spiritual advice. So this is where I come in to help break that pattern to get you through it. But mostly what I want you to do, whoever is listening to this video. Sorry, I had a coughing bout. <clears throat> so whomever is going through this right now, I, I really empathize and I sympathize with you. Because it's hard to break these patterns, especially if you're not fully aware of how energy works and how you can build up your own energy and you do. And then you, instead of breaking through, you find yourself going deeper and deeper and sinking deeper into that rabbit hole. I offer something called EFT, which is Emotional Freedom Technique. Sorry, that's, sorry, I had to pause the video. The reason why is because this is the kind of empath I am. Um, it, it, when, in my environment, I kind of pick up everything in my, envir in, my, in my environment. That's how my magnetic field works. Um, I was told this when I was younger and I didn't believe it, that I tend to suck up everything around me. I'm an empath, like a sponge, and I, I pull it in. And when people around me are <clears throat> in pain or if they're using drugs, let's put it this way. I don't know what they put in their body, harmful chemicals, and I can almost feel it all over my body. Um, but that's not the point. My point is that's just another way for me to show you how strong and how strong energy is but also how delicate it is how delicate it is so i do i offer a technique called eft emotional freedom technique i am a practitioner i'm a licensed practitioner and um i will be offering um it as sessions to my clients um who are going through uh a lot of emotional distress while they're waiting for their cases, while they're waiting for their results, while they're waiting for their loved ones, while they're waiting for their healing. And I will be offering it to them at a discounted rate. And I'll be offering it to the public as well because it has worked wonders, wonders. It is an awesome thing and it helps to clear away that energy, that thick, murky energy that we cover ourselves with that keeps us bogged in. The thing is, we do that to ourselves, but we do it unwittingly. Unwittingly. So, don't beat yourself up when things are going wrong. That's the first thing. Don't beat yourself up. You always can make another choice. And that energy you will feel that's diseased in your body you will feel this ease you will feel clutching clenching energetic with a passion sometimes you won't want to do anything different you'll be absolutely passionate about that not wanting to make changes not wanting to make a, a different choice not wanting to move in a different direction that's not your fault that's an energetic pattern you have to break so don't beat up on yourself that's just giving your mind that's keeping you in this holding pattern even more ammunition to keep you in the holding pattern because it loves the drama. Beating yourself up is just drama, useless. It doesn't accomplish anything. It will not. It's not going to. And that's from my own personal experience. So <clears throat> this is where EFT comes into play. And message to you here again, don't beat up on yourselves and don't let it get to you to the point where you become aggressive or abrasive to other people because of it. It's something that we ourselves create and we ourselves can just clear it away 
it's easy to clear a whale when you know how. <clears throat> An EFT is one technique, is one technique that helps to clear that away almost immediately. You can actually feel the changes physically in your body. This is the beauty part of it. You can feel how energy moves. And once you start to feel that beautiful feeling and you start to get more in touch with your physical body, you take off. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling. That gives you <clears throat> the power to be in control, to be in control of your destiny, your life, the choices you make, or which direction you choose to take, healthier patterns, healthier habits, leads to a more fulfilling and happy life. Don't beat yourself up no matter what you do. It's not going to prove anything except it's just going to keep you in a holding pattern. It's not going to make anything better. It's not going to provide anything worthwhile. Whatever you do, don't beat yourself up when you feel stuck. It's not going to help. 